Finland, Sweden brush off Moscow's warning on joining NATO. Finland and Sweden have brushed off warnings from neighboring Russia that their possible joining NATO would trigger serious military political consequences. From Moscow, Helsinki, Finland and Sweden have brushed off warnings from neighboring Russia that their possible joining of NATO would trigger serious military political consequences from Moscow for the two countries. A statement from the Russian Foreign Ministry Friday voiced concern about what it described as efforts by the United States and some of its allies to drag Finland on Sweden into NATO and warned that Moscow would be forced to take retaliatory measures if they join the alliance. Finnish Foreign Minister Pekka Havisto said Saturday that, we've heard this before. We don't think that it calls for a military threat, Havisto said in an interview with the Finnish public broadcaster YLE. Should Finland be NATO's external border, it rather means that Russia would certainly take that into account in its own defense planning. I don't see anything new as such, in the statement delivered by Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zaharova, Havisto said. Finland had a 1,340-kilometer, 830-mile, land border with Russia, the longest border shared by any European Union member state in Russia. Havisto's words were echoed by the Finnish president Sali Nianisto who said on Friday that he didn't see the statement meaning Moscow was threatening Finland militarily but rather what kind of countersteps Russia would take should Finland join NATO. Nianisto told Finnish media that he didn't see Zaharova's statement being any different from what she and Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov have said before on Finland's possible membership in NATO. He also noted that Russian President Vladimir Putin addressed the issue with a similar tone already in 2016 during his Finland visit. In Sweden, Prime Minister Magdalena Andersson addressed Moscow's statement in a joint news conference Friday with Sweden's military commander Mikhail Biden. I want to be extremely clear. It is Sweden that itself and independently decides on our security policy line, Andersson said. Russia's statement came as Moscow's relations with the West sank to the lowest point since the Cold War over Russia's invasion of Ukraine. It's obvious that if Finland and Sweden join NATO, which is first of all a military organization, it will entail serious military political consequences, which would require retaliatory steps by the Russian Federation, Zaharova said at a news briefing Friday. Zaharova argued that while every state has a sovereign right to choose ways of ensuring its security, all members of the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe confirm their adherence to principle that the security of one state shouldn't be achieved to the detriment of another country's. We view Finland's course for maintaining the policy of military non-alignment as an important factor contributing to stability and security in Northern. European on the European continent as a whole, Zaharova said, adding that, we can't fail to see consistent efforts by NATO and some of its members, primarily the US, to drag Finland as well as Sweden into the alliance. She noted an increase of NATO drills on their territories. Though not members, Finland and Sweden closely cooperate with NATO, allowing, among other things, the alliance's troops to exercise on their soil. Helsinki and Stockholm have also substantially intensified their bilateral defense cooperation in the past years, and secured close military cooperation with the United States, Britain and neighboring NATO member Norway. Vladimir Isachenkov from Moscow contributed to this report. Follow app's coverage of the Ukraine crisis at https colon slash slash apnews.com slash hub slash Russia dash Ukraine.